are you looking to be able to make quick edits in Adobe Premiere Pro? Uh, basically being able to cut and select or quick select elements within your timeline. If so, then that's exactly what I'm going to show you on the inside of today's video. Hi, my name's Chris Cole and welcome to this video. As always, I would appreciate a like, a comment and for you to, sub to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, also click that bell icon notification so that you're notified of future updates or uploads just like this now on the inside of Adobe Premiere Pro uh, What we want to do is obviously get our sequence set up and have a video file on the timeline Now when you're editing the video file then what you need to do is get your playhead to the point in time where you want to say make a quick cut and then obviously you're going to use keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to show you some of the keyboard shortcuts. Now to find the keyboard shortcuts, you come up to the top left on a Mac anyway, it's Premiere Pro. And then what you're looking at is in your keyboard shortcuts, you'll see here. You'll see it's brought up the actual keyboard shortcuts and it shows you exactly uh, what keyboard shortcuts you have already pre-assigned. And the two that I'm going to focus in on is the razor tool and the selection tool. So C and V are the two tools that we're going to use. So as I said, get your playhead to where you want and simply hit C and you'll notice now my mouse cursor has changed. That's the razor tool. It's a small razor blade and essentially what I do is I come to where the playhead is and I click and then I move the playhead to the next location in time where I want to make an edit and then again I'll click. You'll see that I now have my video file within three Seg segments or sections for me to get the selection tool all i simply need to do is hit v and i now get the selection tool i can now highlight the the portion of video file say that i maybe don't want and hit backspace or hit delete and i've now deleted and removed the video file it means i can now select and realign my video file and then carry on with my editing now my reason for creating these simple tutorials in Adobe Premiere Pro is because I too struggled when I first opened up this software with the really really simple basic stuff uh, and obviously if I have struggled then other people have struggled too and that's my reason for creating this tutorial. So you're learning as I'm learning and I hope of course you found this tutorial helpful. If it did then please drop me a comment please drop me a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel because I love to create tutorials like this and also you know YouTube videos, marketing videos, there's a whole range of different things that I love to create and as always I'd love to bring you along in the journey with me. So as I said my name is Chris Cole from BroadcastGeeks.com. I hope you find this video tutorial helpful and of course I'll speak to you across in the next video.